Morning. Former President Donald Trump is asking the U.S. Supreme Court to stay out of ongoing legal debates over his presidential immunity for now. And this is after special counsel Jack Smith's request for, quote, expedited consideration on the case. On Tuesday, the Colorado Supreme Court ruled to disqualify Trump from the state's 2024 presidential ballot, making the judgment based on a rarely used part of the Constitution that bars anyone from taking office if they engaged in insurrection. Now, Trump does plan to take the case to SCOTUS, but only after a federal appeals court considers it first. President Biden commented on the matter, saying there is no question Trump supported an insurrection, but it's up to the courts on whether they can appear, appeal on the ballot. Now, this is an extremely rare move Colorado made. The part of the 14th Amendment the court used in the ruling has only been enacted a handful of times. Experts say other states could follow Colorado's lead, and Dana Searles from our sister station breaks down how this clause works and if it can be used against Trump again. It's a section of the 14th Amendment that was enacted after the Civil War. And it was designed to basically say that if you had taken an oath of office to the Constitution, or to the United States, and then you'd betrayed that office and that oath by you know, committing rebellion or insurrection, then you're not eligible to serve in office. Essentially, you're disqualified. The amendment is usually seen in race or sex discrimination cases. However, the due process clause is what is being used against the former president. That this is a part of the 14th Amendment that doesn't get used that often. Like I said, there's an equal protection clause, a due process clause. Those are in another part. This just isn't an issue that's happened really very often. Other states could follow Colorado's lead, turning the election into a jigsaw puzzle, with Trump fitting into some states and not others. Well, there's just huge questions. This is a ruling that's, as I said, unprecedented. Some other states have stayed away from it. Almost every issue in this ruling is something you could challenge. Experts say that Trump could argue aspects like freedom of speech if he is considered an officer and actually engaged in an insurrection and his specific intent. You kind of have to have some knowledge of what his intent was. Did he really intend for this, what, what transpired after his speech occurred? Well, he never testified. There was no cross-examination, so they relied heavily on the January 6th report. The ruling states that if the U.S. Supreme Court decided to take up this case, which experts say could be likely, Trump could still be on the primary ballot if the Supreme Court reviews it before January 4th, which is the day before the Colorado primary ballots have to be submitted. Well, changes